So, hello, welcome. Uh, my name is Super SSL, and today we're going to be doing something new, something that I haven't done ever on my channel, which is not Minecraft. We're going to be playing a new colony builder game, which has been repeatedly compared to games like RimWorld. Uh, it recently came out this month um, uh, in early access, and it has many positive reviews, so I thought it would be a fun thing to do a little series on this. If I uh, just show you roadmap, it's still in early access. They have a ton of planned future updates, more music, more structures, like all of this stuff, and it's gonna be awesome. So since it came out a few weeks ago, I decided that it would be a good idea to play it. So let's go new game. Here you have peaceful, where you have no raids, no enemies attack you. You have survival, which you have a ton of raids. Everyone's attack you every day, like. It's really difficult and then you have standard which splits a difference it's like the middle it's good you can build up and you can you still have to fight people it's but it's not over excessive then you have difficulties it's matched from very easy to hard we're just gonna go on normal because again I've only played this game for a few weeks though I have uh, played this game for a few hours before and I know what is going on so next we have starting conditions which you can have a new life, which is we start off with uh, three three settlers, and we have a ton of equipment, ton of resources. We have a lone wolf, which is well, we start off with one settler, and we can make another one if we ever choose to. So a new life, that's the one we're gonna do for today, cause the most simple. Here we have something called our scenario, which we can either choose hillside, valley, or mountain. Valley has very little natural resources, but a lot of bushes, shrubbery, and trees. Mountain has almost no bushery, shrubbery, trees, but a ton of natural resources. And hillside, again, splits the difference. So we're going to choose hillside. I've already looked at this flag, and I like it. And we're going to call ourselves Super Land, because my name is Super SSL. Um, and that's going to be what we're going to have. Map size, there's not another map size. And you have your seed which changes things up here so we'll uh, go next so uh, sorry I had a little glitch there um, and we'll go back to hillside it wasn't letting me click the next button and hopefully we can uh, just click this ah that, that's a nice flag and let's put us again back to superland of course it doesn't work well I guess we can't put superland super Hmm, super village. There you go, that works. So now this is where we go to our settlers. Um, our settlers, this is like Rimworld. You have all of these tra uh, traits um, and things they're good at. And then you have perks. You have the stars, which is things they like doing. So their passions. This guy is a good carpenter, but that's not very useful. And he's good at speech craft, not very good. So girl's good at tailoring she's very smart construction nah I would say it's pretty bad carpentry 20 I, that's not good construction 21 marksman 12 melee hmm mining this guy could be our builder our carpenter our marksman and our miner okay I, I like this guy Oh, wait, what traits does he have? Oh, he's an idiot, and he's precious. Whatever. She is good at carpentry, animal handling. Those two are not good. Smithing, tailoring. 20 animal, nope. Botany 13. This girl, that could be really good. She's okay at construction. She's good at smithing. She's not the best at melee, but that's fine. Jonathan, Jonathan. He's a, oh my god. Wow. He's extremely smart. He's a good... He's okay at botanist. He's good at cooking, so he could be our chef. Zero melee, that might be a problem. Uh, 10 mining, so I think we're gonna keep these guys. He's dainty, so he needs finer things, but he's also strong, so he has plus three mining. Okay, yeah, I really like this guy. So let's click next. So this is what we have, super village. This is our flag. These are our settlers. Standard, a new life, hillside. So I'm gonna turn. I turned this off before and let's embark so it's gonna show me some like a little text I'm gonna quickly read it you can skip ahead if you don't want to hear it 
The plague has ravaged the British Isles, leaving a trail of destruction in its wake. Untold millions went to an early grave, and those left standing were plunged into poverty, brutally scarred by the horrors they had witnessed. Nothing would ever be the same again. As the earth quickened in the spring of 1353, Harry, Eleanor, and Jonathan set off into the wilderness to claim a piece of their land. Claim a piece of land as their own. As was their right in the eyes of God and under the law here, they may lay down the foundations for some kind of future. Perhaps hope will follow. Good land is there for the taking in all four corners of this once mighty land. Citizens are rebuilding, but in the hope that the horrors of the past few years can be left behind. Is it possible that there will be fighting, drought, sickness, and hunger? But what, uh, but what of it? Life goes on, says Eleanor. And so we must go. In a landscape of rolling hills and ancient crumbling forts, the companions trekked each ancient reward. Jonathan, with a view that stretched for many leagues, no enemy approach would go unseen, he thought. They built a camp that would be in time become the settlement of Super Village. So that's pretty cool. I'd like to continue. So, let me just pause. This is all of our stuff here. And you see how there's the big hands. It means our settlers can't move it around, which I'm just going to tell them. Oh, uh, you can just touch all this stuff. Uh, and you can move that. Though, if you click it, you see it says it decomposes because of ground type. So, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go here. Default stockpile. I'm going to build... Uh, this is a good stockpile. And now I have that. I'm going to click here and put a wooden floor so it doesn't decompose the stuff. Like, that's decomposing, decomposing, decomposing. That's probably not the best. Now I'm going to go... Uh, let's go manage first. So Henry is good at marksman, so I'll give him a ranged weapon. Eleanor is not the best, but give her a one-handed melee with a shield. And I'm going to give him a two-handed melee. Headgear, I'll give them all headgear. They want headgear, they can grab it. Armor, you want armor, just go grab it. You have all of it. And that's our manage. Now we have research, which I'll get into later because we need to unlock the research bench. I'll go to region quickly, which this doesn't do much yet, but in the future we'll have like these battles and we can raid other settlements. And so that's for the future. Let's go schedule. This is our schedule here. So they're gonna sleep until four, five o'clock in the morning and go to bed at uh, 11. What I'm gonna do is just give them an extra hour of sleep, but tell them that they have to work all day. So before it was anything, so they could sleep more, they could have leisure, or they could work. Now I'm gonna force them to work, but I'll give them an extra hour of sleep. I think that's fair. Now we can go jobs, which is who's gonna do what. So he's not a good medicine. She's not good. He's the best. So. I'll put him to one. This is heal yourself, so like go sleep when you're hurt. I'll put all of them to one. Hunt, he's a 12 marksman. I'll put him to one. Construct, he's, yeah, he got to Put him to two. I'll put, yeah, I'll put her to one. Let me put him down to three. Construct, he's the best. She's okay. I'll put him to two. Grow, who's the botanist? Her, and he can be two. Harvest, I'll put her as well. Uh, cut plants, put her, and I'll put him. Mine, who's a miner again? Ten, nine, yeah, it's him. So I'll put him to one, I'll put him to two. Cooking, uh, yeah, that's this guy, I put him to one. So I'll, if he's cooking, I'll put him to two, I'll put him to one. Craft, I don't know, I'll go back to the end and see who has the least amount of jobs. Smithing, yep, she's a smith. Carpentry. A carpenter tailoring, we can get into that later, but she'll be tailored. Research who's the smart guy? I think it's this guy, right? Yeah, 20. So I'll put him to one. Steward that's not very important, but I'll put him to two. Haul I'll put this guy to haul stuff. So now we'll just go back to craft who is the least one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'll just put He's uh, constructing, but he's cooking. Yeah, put this guy to two. So now they have all their jobs, and we're going to need a bit of wood if we want to make this here. As much as we already have some wood, we're going to run out. 
So luckily for us, there's a big force over here. I'll just tell them to cut down those trees. I'll then pause quickly, and uh, they'll get to work. Us, uh, yeah. So you see, they picked up their axes and stuff. Sorry about that, but uh, like I was saying, Harry will go build everything. Speaking of Harry and names, I want to change these all to the names of my friends and subscribers. So this will be Sam. This will be Luca, and this will be one of my biggest influences when making videos. Someone who always makes me make more my friend justin so i'm gonna go build everything and i'll put it to two speed so now they have um they're gonna build this so they can put their stuff but i'm also gonna need um a little house for them so we'll put a house here i'll do let's say one bed goes here one bed goes here one bed goes here one bed goes here there door here and we can put like a wall here so Uh, we'll take this down. We'll put a window there. So let's just take the wooden window and put it there and wooden door. You see that kind of semicircle? It's which way it's facing. If you see this little um, like door handle there, if I click R, it changes side. So it's meant to be like a double door, but uh, it works for single as well. So I'll just put one there and we can just put all our floor. We're also going to need a roof. So we're going to go with thatched roof. Which is a roof made out of the hay. And we'll put it like that. Hay is going to be the tall grass. So let's go just grab some of that tall grass so we can build that roof. We already have a bit, but um, we're going to need a bit more. So they're going to go cut down all those trees. I'll put this to your time speed and uh, the rope, uh, this guy uh, Luca will build which is really useful because we don't want to stuff coin so soon we're gonna have to build actually we can do this right now um, a campfire so I think that's yeah campfire that's how you make food so place one of these right there we also have research tables and stuff like that and we'll put that down later when we expand on this house we're also gonna need uh, like an area to eat food because um, people like don't like eating. Let's say you make something on your oven and you eat your food right after you make it above your oven. It's not something people like doing. It's not something anyone likes doing. So we're gonna have to build kind of a mess hall and eating area. So for now, they're gonna eat these packed meals, which is not really the best since they're packed really pristinely and they can last a long time. So we're gonna need to get this campfire up so we can build stuff. They're gonna just keep going, uh, taking everything. But now, since those jobs are done, everyone should uh, go build because that's the only job. So they're gonna go build this up, and uh, that's gonna be nice. The roof, yeah, they're just gonna put that up pretty fast. And hopefully, um, if I click control, and if you see up here, I'm scrolling down the layers. I can uh, go to this layer. Uh, let's try to put their beds in before night time so one two three and in case another guy comes you can put one more here i also want to build some torches if we just click wall torches one two and i also want to put one there we can also put two outside i think that would look nice as well so let's scroll back up and they're gonna put all the roofs in while they're gonna start building the beds. Okay, they got those uh, lanterns in, which is good. Okay, so you see it says they just created the bedroom. So if now I go up and I click this button uh, right here, show overlay of rooms, it's blue, which means it's a shared bedroom, which is what it is. Um, I don't know why this door is still open. Uh, I don't want it to stay open, but hopefully they'll close it. So it's getting uh, late. They're just going to run around, harvest uh, some things. And um, yeah, should, I should probably tell them to go get some mushrooms. 
And I'm sorry about what's going on in the background. Oh, perfect. We got some berry bushes. I'll tell them to go harvest these. So it auto saves at the end of every day. So if your game crashes, you don't lose a ton of work. So let's go look for a few more mushrooms. I'll put some over here. That's good. I know some up here, but uh, I don't think we were able to get up there yet. No. So this will be what resource? Coal. So that is okay. Let's just look if we have any iron. Limestone. That's for like uh, stone walls. Huge limestone deposit. We'll probably go mine that. Rocky soil. Limestone and clay. No iron on the surface though. I don't think we're going to get lucky here. Rocky soil. Hopefully we cross our fingers. No. Again, I'm sorry about the stuff that's going on in the background. It's not my choice. My brother has a front. Oh, we might have some iron right here. Yeah, iron. It's kind of far and it's spread out between multiple layers. But it's still iron and you're kind of near the coal and easily accessible. So we can grab that later if we need to. So they're just going to go grab all of these. And I'm going to go say, let's say, let's make, yeah, let's make 20, ah, 20, let's make 10 meals. We can make another 10 later. I don't want them to rot and no one to eat them. So this guy's going to go bring everything over here. And that's good. So they kind of don't have a forest to cut down and it's always good to be doing something. So I'm going to tell them to go cut down this. Also, you can harvest this. There's some mushroom baskets here. Maybe grab some of this. Uh, maybe some of this. Also, we need someone to hunt. So I see there's a little rabbit there. Let's go grab that. It's a deer. Hopefully, someone can hunt that. And there's a wolf. That's a bit too dangerous. Uh, there's quite a few animals here. I'll tell them just get one of those deer. Okay, perfect. So Justin's gonna go do everything. And that should be good. I'm gonna start building, or at least setting up the second room. So we'll do... We'll do that for the floor plan. We'll go to uh, production. Get our research table down. Right here, we can put um, a wall torch there. Uh, I like to put like these little tables in so I'll put like a little table there maybe with a, is a bench three benches so this will be kind of half used to go eat like an eating spot which is good because I don't want them to eat like a like alone and doing nothing I think that's a bit depressing so I can put a window here and it makes them sad a door here and we'll just go to base, uh, thatched roof, and we'll just click R and expand on our already made roof. So this will be like a kind of a motel, like uh, like two buildings that are one. So they're going to get doing this, which is good. I told them to build the um, research table, right? Yeah. So once we get that down, hopefully, um, who's the researcher? Justin will research. Justin's really bad with melee. He's an extremely smart person. And he's good with talking, so... Um... We'll get him to do that. So... Okay. It's good that uh, they're doing all these things fast, because research is something that you really gotta start early. And it's really helpful, because with research, yeah, we have the table already built. So that's good. Uh, you, you build these chronicles and then with the chronicles then you're able to click research and research things so let's research architecture because we already start with 25 chronicles and now we research architecture which means we have 20 15 chronicles already in the research thing and we have 10 available so now we have uh, quite a few things I will get agriculture next because it's really important that you get your cabbage fields uh, as soon as possible because uh, or else you don't have a good source of food So Justin will go do that. I'll just tell Justin to prioritize hauling this Because or else will decompose Um jobs. I'll put someone else as hauler. This guy's also five jobs. So I'll put him as hauler Seb is gonna go cook. I didn't know Seb was a good chef Seb 
is not a good chef, so that's not really what you want to see. We'll put him as next in line. And this door, I don't like it's left open. So I'll deconstruct that and then reconstruct that. So we're going to sleep quickly. It's currently 1 o'clock. On the side here, you can see we have 43 re uh, red currant berries, uh, 5 pack meals, 10 stew, and all things like that. So that tells you how much of what we have. And I already did this video once, but it lagged and um, it kind of glitched. So um, uh, what it did was my audio, like there was no audio. So if I can ask you now, please uh, like and subscribe. It uh, really helps. And um, it just shows me that you like the series. Of course, I'm still going to do the series because I enjoy it and I do YouTube because I enjoy it. But um, it would still help a lot and give me some extra confidence that people will actually enjoy what I do. But um, yeah, if you want, do that. Uh, if not, that's okay. So, hide treetops. We can hide the treetops? Oh, that's creepy. Oh no, there's just a ton of fog. I haven't seen this yet. That's really sick. Well, I'm gonna get them to go back on three speed. And at five, they should wake up. Yeah, they're gonna go uh, eat usually. Oh, he already deconstructed that. It's good. We have the wooden beams that we got before, which we don't need. But I will put another door here and rebuild this roof. So he'll just go build out that door. Justin will continue cooking, which is good. Here, just for the sake of it, let's build a wooden floor here. Just so every time they cook something, they put it there. Uh, so before they move it, it won't uh, glitch out and decompose. Leisure activities. Yeah, we should probably do some of that. So after this, uh, I'm going to build an area for uh, religion, which I didn't get into before. But there's like religion, you see religious alignment. On this side, uh, it's kind of like, um, um, kind of, it's kind of like Christianity and paganism so that's what that is this guy's a devout brethren so this side is a uh, paganism and Sev is a devout restitutionist which is Christianity in the game so I'll just build a little area it doesn't need to be huge I don't think the religious things are huge yeah they're just two so we'll just put this here and we'll do this on the other side as well Oh, we're going to have to move this campfire. Uh, I'll just tell him to deconstruct this once Justin is done. So, just deconstruct that. Uh, these floors, they can move. Justin should go do something. Yeah, he's going to go. No, Justin. That's, you're supposed to break that, not cook more. Okay, wait. Now I'm going to tell him to prioritize. Oh, no. Someone's already working on it. That is really strange. So they're going to build this up. That's going to be good. I'm going to go on the other side. Do the same thing. Four. Like that. Let the walls going like this, like this. On the side like this. That was a bit too much, but good thing we just canceled that. Those trees, let's just cut a few of these down. So, we're going to have those a bit smaller rooms, but that's fine. And then we're going to put our wooden doors like this. Our roofs. Again, making like one really huge long barn. But that's fine. We're just going to use this as kind of a wall in the future. Because we're going to... There's going to be raids. So, we're going to need a wall in our stuff so it doesn't get stolen. So, we're just going to wall that in like it's a barn. Did I make this one? Hmm... That's one away. That's one away. That should be two away. It's two away. And then, no, that should be normal. Okay, well, whatever. Let's go here. Oak Brethren. Let's put an Oak Brethren. Let's go to decorations. Oh, wall mounted torch. We'll put two of those there. And we already have two there, so. I don't want to do a ground torch. By the way, we have this thing right here called linen cloth, 
which I love because you can make, make flags and I think that's really cool. So I'll just make a flag. I know right here is nice. Oh, that's backwards. I'll just make a flag. Yep, like that. Telling everyone this is our stuff. Don't mess with us. Um, it's our stuff. Justin is just kids. Justin, stop. Stop. No. Cancel. Yeah, so they're gonna go in here and eat. And it's happy because they're eating in an actual eating place. So hopefully they can move all this stuff soon. Oh yeah, they deconstructed it. That's good. They're gonna build this up and I'll tell them to build a roof as well. Oh yeah, forgot I gotta put the doors in. And now, boom, that should work. I also kind of want to move this pile and build a little overhang. That's just a bit too close. So I might, uh, here, this is what I'll do. Click the pile. I'll click deconstruct. And then I'll move it two spaces away. But, uh, actually I'll do it from this side. Because the fly is going to be there. Default stock pile, and I'll make it a bit bigger. Now I'll go here, click deconstruct, deconstruct all of those floors, but I'll need to build uh, more of those. So we'll do that, and then I'll build some wooden walls around the corners and make it kind of like um, a semi roofed in area. So we place these beams and these act as walls and we can put roofs on them, but like you can walk through them. So now I'll just do a wooden roof. Uh, that would be nice, perfect. So if you see kind of what I'm doing, it's kind of this little area where the rain won't go and like mess things up, but it's still out in the open uh, and it's not like an indoor thing. By the way, the people are not happy that they sleep in the same room. They kind of want their own privacy, like normal humans. So we're going to have to deal with that soon. But that will probably be in the next episode, since it's already getting pretty long. That's what she said. Whatever. So I'll just finish uh, building this, and then I'll quickly end off. Uh, right now, we got our oak brother in, which is here. So people are happy with that. And now they need time to go pray. So I'm going to give them 5 o'clock leisure, go play, go do stuff like that. And on the other side, we have our wooden uh, restit restitutionist. So we got that kind of stuff. Sadly, they still haven't moved the stew, which is going to decompose. And yeah, uh, we're going to have to build underground cellars to keep our food fresh for longer. Like if anyone's learned about the Native Americans, uh, that's what we're going to have to do. So I actually said I'll finish it off when we're done, when we're finished this. But... Um, I'll finish it off right now. So, yeah. Uh, bye. Please subscribe and hit the like. My name's Sasha. Have an amazing day, and thanks for watching.